Next, NASA says its Voyager 1 probe, the most distant human-made object in the universe. For over four decades, Voyager 1 has drifted silently through the vast expanse of interstellar space, a ghostly sentinel from Earth carrying humanity's hopes and scientific dreams far beyond the boundary of the solar system. Since its launch in 1977, it has remained one of NASA's most extraordinary missions, outliving its original purpose and continuing to function in the frozen darkness more than 15 billion miles from home. It's long been assumed that the venerable spacecraft, aged and battered by cosmic rays in time, would eventually go silent. Another relic of the space age swallowed by the void. That was the expectation, until now. Before we start, hit the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. Out of the dark, Voyager 1 spoke again. But it wasn't a routine data ping or telemetry packet. It wasn't a glitch or a system check. It was something completely unexpected. A transmission of unknown origin, carrying patterns and sequences that didn't match any known system protocol or telemetry stream ever designed by NASA. The signal wasn't just garbled static, it was intentional, ordered, and unlike anything scientists had received before from the probe. This wasn't a malfunction, it was a message, one that shouldn't have existed. The transmission arrived as a narrowband signal from Voyager 1's high-gain antenna, captured by the Deep Space Network's massive 70-meter dish in Canberra, Australia. Initially attempts to decode the signal using standard analytical tools failed. The data packets weren't part of any operating subsystem, power cycle, or telemetry stream known to Voyager 1's architecture. It wasn't a reset. It wasn't a system dump. It was something far more profound, something that immediately set off a storm within the halls of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Within hours, the world's top astrophysicists, data analysts, and cryptographers were brought into the loop and what they discovered stunned them. The transmission consisted of a repeating sequence, five layers of patterns that cycled every 138 seconds. Each cycle was composed of electromagnetic modulations that couldn't be explained by cosmic interference or mechanical error. The timing was precise, too precise for coincidence. The waveforms, when converted into audio and then visual spectrograms, revealed geometric symmetry, almost like a mandala or a fractal design rendered in frequency space. This was not noise. This was intentional. Something or someone had modified Voyager 1 systems from over 15 billion miles away. The first implication was horrifyingly simple. Voyager 1 was no longer under sole Earth-based control. Either some unknown cosmic phenomenon had altered the spacecraft's software in a precise, intelligent manner, or there was something, or someone, out there with the capability to interface with our technology. The idea that such a distant probe could be accessed, let alone reprogrammed, challenged every known limitation of modern communication radio telemetry, and signal processing. The spacecraft was never equipped for remote reprogramming at this distance. Its systems are ancient by modern standards. It still operates using 1970S era computing. Its memory can be measured in kilobytes, not gigabytes. Commands sent from Earth take over 22 hours to reach it and another 22 to return. Any interaction requires a near day long delay, but the signal received had timestamps embedded within the code that didn't correspond with the last known command uplinks. More shockingly, some of the embedded signal structures reference data sets from after the last command cycle, suggesting either a temporal anomaly or external data injection. Two scenarios that bordered on the impossible. NASA teams worked in complete secrecy for days, even as whispers began to leak into the public domain. The raw data was encrypted within classified government servers and offloaded into isolated analysis units to prevent any possibility of cyber contamination. The fear wasn't just extraterrestrial, it was existential. If something could communicate with Voyager 1 in a language more advanced than Earth's best efforts, what else could it reach? As the days passed, another transmission came in, this one shorter but more complex. It contained modulation across multiple frequency bands, something Voyager 1 had never been configured to support. Within the signal was what appeared to be a three-dimensional lattice, a sort of spatial code that required virtual reconstruction. When reassembled, the pattern resembled a rotating shape, like a tesseract viewed through the lens of interdimensional math. 
Scientists weren't sure whether it was an artifact of decoding or something more deliberate, a kind of cosmic cipher designed to challenge human perception itself. The philosophical weight of the discovery hit as hard as the scientific implications. If Voyager 1 was communicating in a format beyond human design, then something intelligent and powerful was interacting with it. Whether this force was artificial, alien, or a higher dimensional phenomenon was impossible to determine. But one fact was undeniable. We were no longer alone in the data stream. The astrophysical implications were staggering. Communication across such a distance at this level of precision suggested technology's orders of magnitude beyond anything Earth had ever conceived. Traditional radio waves degrade over interstellar distances. Even highly directional signals suffer attenuation, and the radiation background of deep space tends to garble long-range communication. Yet the Voyager 1 signal was crisp, clear, as if it had been enhanced or relayed by some unknown mechanism. The working theory proposed by some was that a form of quantum entanglement, or even a wormhole-like transmission medium, could be in play. But those were speculative, bordering on science fiction. More unsettling was the idea that Voyager 1 might no longer be a passive observer. If it had been accessed or altered, it could now be functioning as a relay, a beacon, or even a probe with new directives. The very systems once designed to explore the solar system may now be tools for something else, something observing us in return. The two-way mirror had been flipped. Earth, for the first time, may be the subject of someone else's experiment. Back on the ground, NASA and allied international agencies initiated coordinated scans of deep space in the region from which the transmission originated. Massive radio telescopes were realigned. Observatories across Chile, Hawaii, South Africa, and even the orbiting James Webb Space Telescope began focusing their attention on Voyager 1's sky path. No anomalous physical objects were detected nearby. No rogue planets, no cloaked satellites, no interstellar visitors. But the lack of visual confirmation only deepened the mystery. The signal was there, the effect was real, but its source remained invisible. Attempts to re-establish a more traditional data link with Voyager 1 were only partially successful. Standard commands were acknowledged, but any effort to probe the source of the new signals was met with static or redirected output. It was as if the spacecraft had become partially autonomous, prioritizing the unknown transmission protocol over its original programming. In some cases, it even appeared to be withholding telemetry, an impossibility given its hardware limitations, unless new instructions had been somehow implanted into its onboard systems. The broader scientific community erupted with theories. Some posited that Voyager 1 had encountered a naturally occurring structure in space, a kind of information lattice or signal trap that refracted cosmic radiation into coherent patterns. Others leaned toward artificial intelligence perhaps remnants of an ancient civilization capable of manipulating electromagnetic fields to such a degree that they could write into our machines without physical contact. The most radical thinkers went further, suggesting that what Voyager 1 had encountered was not a message in the conventional sense, but a kind of universal algorithm, an intelligence encoded in physics itself waiting to be unlocked by those who knew where to look. Cultural and psychological shockwaves spread rapidly as word of the transmission leaked into online forums and independent research communities. Amateur astronomers began scanning the same frequencies. Some claimed to detect similar patterns in cosmic background radiation, though most were debunked or lacked scientific rigor. Still, the idea took root. Something had changed. The silence of space was broken, not by a voice but by a code. A whisper from the darkness, precise and persistent. Religious leaders and philosophers weighed in, many interpreting the signal as a form of contact, not just from another species, but perhaps from a transcendent intelligence. The implications weren't just scientific, they were existential. If Voyager 1 had become a link between humanity and a larger cosmic structure, what role did we play in that structure? Were we the architects of the first handshake, or merely the recipients of a call that was always meant to come? Meanwhile, Governments around the world scrambled to assess the risks. Could this signal represent a threat? Could it contain information capable of damaging our networks or infiltrating other satellites? Cybersecurity agencies treated the data like a pathogen, quarantined, studied, dissected. So far, no malware or known exploit patterns were found. But that, in itself, was troubling. If it was an intrusion, it was on a level humanity couldn't yet detect, let alone counteract. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on Voyager 1's hidden transmission? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.